Hey guys, and welcome back to another video from Jacobs Badminton. If you haven't already, take a look at our video on backhand overhead drops from last week. So today we're gonna to be playing the forehand rear late shot, and we're gonna be looking at how to effectively get yourself out of trouble from that corner. So let's jump right in and take a look. So let's take a look at the footwork first. The first thing we're gonna do is start with our split drop. We want to split in the direction that we're going to travel. Pushing off of the left leg, we're going to cross behind and then lunge on our bracket leg. It's important that we maintain good posture, so using your core, keeping it nice and tight to maintain your balance with that foot turned out, pointing the direction we're traveling on. We're going to slide the back leg in to regain our balance and allow us from here to push back quickly with both legs. So split, cross behind, lunge, slide in, and recover. So let's take a look at the preparation and the grip. So first of all, you're gonna need a forehand grip, which allows us to hit out of the corner a lot easier, whereas if we had a, uh, a bevel or a pan handle, it's gonna be a lot harder, and the wrist doesn't really rotate that way. The reason why we step behind for this shot when we split is because it allows us to keep our hips open. And the reason why we keep our hips open is it's a lot easier for us to hit straight, cross, and also generate a lot of power. Whereas if we turn and close our hips, this becomes more difficult. So for preparation with the body, you wanna try and be as upright as you can, and your elbows want to be nice and out. Imagine like you're sitting in a big rubber ring and you, you can't put your elbows down, okay? And as the shuttle comes up, you want to be tracking the shuttle with your racket and hitting the shuttle away from your body. Because if you get too close, your racket swing or your racket action will become restricted. So as you're going to hit this shot, guys, just a little bit about timing. You want to try and strike the shuttle just before or as your heel lands so that you get a nice rhythm. If you land before, sometimes you can lose your rhythm and momentum for recovery, so you want to try and hit it just before. Right, let's take a look at some different options that we've got. So let's take a look at the few shots that you can play from this corner. So there's drop, clear and drive. So for the drop, what you want to do is you want to come round, nice and smooth, nice and controlled, slightly slicing the shuttle, depending if you want to hit it straight or cross. But when you hit cross, you need to make sure that your grip is a little bit more turned in the forehand grip, which allows you to hit cross. The clear, again, we want to come round and we want to use a bit more of the arm and the finger squeeze to generate power to hitting it out from late from this corner. And then the last thing is the drive. Again, the same thing, but the racket head will be a little bit flatter so that we're able to hit the correct trajectory over the net. Looking at some routines and ways to practice and implement these key points we talked about. The first thing we'd recommend is to start with playing one shot at a time. This gives you time to reflect on the key points we've talked about and integrate them as, as part of your game and make them habit. Hey, so our next one, obviously looking at the straight drop to begin with, we're gonna ensure that with all these feeds today, that the feeder is gonna be putting the person working under pressure. So feeding flat into the corner, making sure they get the shuttle behind them. And as you can see for the drop here, we're keeping our technique nice and smooth pulling through the shuttle, that allows us to control the pace and height of our shot. Moving on to the cross courts, again we might need a little bit more slice on this one, so turning the hand to get the angle and direction for the cross. And if you have a look at the timing as well, he's hitting it just as that foot lands. That allows him to quickly recover out of the back corner. Sliding the back leg in as well to aid that recovery. So moving on to the clears. 
you can see the preparation for all these shots remains the same. That way our opponent can't tell what we're going to hit until we've hit it. And you'll see as well that that arm accelerates and you get the snap and punch out of the back corner. So we do want to make sure these clears aren't too high. Gives our opponent the chance to get behind it quick and hit a jump smash. Instead, we want to be punching out nice and fast. So, onto the drives now. Same as the clears, but we're going to keep that racket head nice and flat as we strike the shuttle. That allows us to keep the shuttle tight to the net. And hopefully, we can press up after the shot looking to take the next one nice and early and get ourselves back in the rally and maybe even use this drive as an opportunity to counter-attack for our singles play. <laughs> 